My wife gave me the analogy that she sees me as a golden retriever, but sometimes she wants a pit bull. And sometimes is BS, I'm sure, it's all the time. I definitely take full responsibility for the frame of our relationship. I've completely 360 to everything I've been doing. Working two jobs to get my bread up, working out seven days a week. Bought wood at the release, just bought fire. Thank you very much. Doing DT 101 now. Actually, that'll definitely help. Uh, going to do sexual dominance afterwards. Still big, strong men all, all over her TikTok algorithm. Keeping in mind I'm five foot six. I want to capture her full and undivided attention. And for her to put me on a pedestal above all these other men she sees. Thoughts appreciated, big brother. The dirty talking stuff is going to massively help you here, my friend. Because dirty talk allows you to embed fantasy in a woman's mind. Dirty talk allows you to take control of the steering wheel of her brain. Um, you can literally insert yourself into erotic fantasies in her subconscious through dirty talk. And, like kind of force yourself on that pedestal in a way uh, by making her be submissive, by making her beg for things, by making her plead for your, for your dick, beg for your dick. If a woman is begging for your dick, you are immediately, you're automatically by default on a pedestal. If she's doing, and if she, obviously if she's doing it genuinely and means it. And she will genuinely mean it if she's doing it while she's, whilst you're in, if you're, she's in an aroused state and you're penetrating her, like she, she's going to be, more susceptible and open to these suggestions, hypnotic, you could say hypnotic suggestions during dirty talk. So she's when she says, when she begs for your dick, she's going to mean it because she's aroused. It's not going to be something she just says uh, to please you and to, to appease your ego as a throwaway comment. It's going to be genuine and real. So I'd say that like the easiest thing is dirty talk. Like that's probably the easiest thing to learn. Um, and then, and then you, you said you're going to get into sexual dominance. I would highly recommend that too. That taps into all, ties into all this very, very strongly. But I'd say just, you know, she says herself like, golden retriever versus pit bull, right? You want to be a bit more, you want to manhandle her a bit more. Women like a guy who's dominant. And that, that it doesn't have, that doesn't necessarily mean like tying her up and hanging her from a chandelier or something. It it can meet, be as simple as like, oh, you're, you're, you're making out beside the bed and then you, you throw her onto the bed and then you take her. That, just that little thing, subtle thing. She's safe. It's, it's not going to hurt her. She's laying on. She's landing on a fucking mattress. It's comfortable. It's, it's not going to fucking hurt her. It's perfectly safe. Uh, like, you know, kids fucking bounce around and play around on, on beds all the time. And they're not going to hurt, you know, don't hurt themselves, right? So, but that, that act of like, oh, you're kissing, you're kissing, you're kissing, and you're throwing her down and you're taking her. Or you are, like, she's 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 in the kitchen cooking or baking or doing something and you you... you Walk up behind her, you start slowly kissing her on the neck and then playing with her playing with her breasts and maybe playing with her pussy a little bit. And then you lift her skirt up and you take her there in the moment, in, the, in that heat of passion in the kitchen. Like in the middle of the day. Like these sort of things, these kind of spontaneous acts of sex like that, these spontaneous acts of passion is what makes you more of that pit bull than the golden retriever. The golden retriever is the safe, cuddly, loving, uh, like caring side. And the pit bull is the savage passion one. That's the passionate side. So try to embrace, think of, if, you, if it, if the word dominance doesn't work for you, think of the word passion, but different words resonate with different people. And I'm just trying to create a picture in your head of the kind of sex you want to be having that's going to spark that out of her, that's, that's going to elicit that lust out of her. Because what you'll find is the mo when you, when you, when you do it right, when you get that trigger, when you, when you, when you kind of hit the nail on the head like that and you give her what she's looking for, you will know instantly you will see it in her face. You will see it afterwards. She will be a different woman around you. She will be so elated that yes, she finally got the beast out of her man. That's what she wants. That's what she's trying to elicit out of you. So I think a bunch of these things I just mentioned will definitely help with that. So good luck, my friend.